Hello guys, today would be some sort of mail unboxing day. Uh, I got this package like super recently, it got delayed because of the Christmas craziness. So probably many of you already know what's gonna be because this company sell pretty, no pretty much known stuff related to home automation, inexpensive home automation. So let's look what we got. I already opened it because I was curious if I got everything what I supposed to get. So I checked, uh, did check inventory uh, right away after I got it. So, so this company Etihad they sell some of home automation uh, devices. Uh, so in this box there are several different uh, uh, home automation devices. We probably start probably from the biggest one. Um, so this is uh, relatively new uh, to me. I did not uh, know about this son of uh, uh, smart home devices. Oh, sorry, that's literally before. Actually, I'm gonna do this. It's probably the best way. The fastest unboxing you can get. Unboxed. All right, so what do you have here? We have several devices um, uh, of this son of brand. Um, one of them is the smart uh, plug, uh, a few more is like a basic um, switch, uh, another one is the one which can measure power consumption, and uh, two more devices which uh, have So here we are. This probably was the fastest unboxing. <laughs> Just show, uh, dropped everything, drop everything out of the box. Uh, so what do we have here? Uh, so this is Sonoff S30, which is like smart plug. This is North American standard. Uh, also we have here um, uh, Sonoff Pop, which is essentially a um, uh, device which can measure uh, power consumption. Two devices, TH16, which uh, have ability to measure uh, humidity, uh, temperature and humidity, and you know control the circuit based on that. And and three basic sort of devices, uh, which just pretty much on off switch for your um, you know, for your uh, electric uh, powered devices. But this one's supposed to support MQTT and there's also two sensors which are go which go with this so let's look in details on each of them okay gonna move this to the side and get this device first so this is supposed to be a smart plug that's how it look like uh, looks actually not too bad I think this is like power, like override on off. That's pretty nice. Uh, I don't think it's really easily disassemblable. I have to. It's it's either welded or glued, so I'm not sure if I would be able to look inside. But obviously, I'll give it a shot. Uh, so that's all we get, and uh, I think there is a little piece of paper over there saying pro, some sort of warranty or warranty card. There is warranty card. And I believe some sort of user manual. Oh, how to install the app? Okay, that's 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 pretty pretty simple. So this device is supposed to control your um, uh, electrical devices plugged in into this. Let's see what's the maximum power this thing can handle. It can handle 10 amp. So this is pretty decent. Uh, so 10 amp is. You can pretty much control uh, anything like coffee machine, like cattle, uh, what else, like cloth iron and things like that. So this is uh, should it's beefy enough. It's pretty much what uh, uh, regular household item supposed to be consuming for several household items. Okay, well, let's put it back together and look what else you have to the side. Okay, let's start from these basics. So I have three of them. I want to play with them and uh, control different circuits. Um, the, on the website it was mentioned it has MQTT support. I want to look into this in depth, but let's uh, take a look at the device itself. What is that? It goes with some screws. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, here's a little kind of top over here saying like this is warranty or quality control stuff. Okay, another plastic top. So, yeah, okay, so we have like screw terminals, screw terminals. So, input, output, you attach your uh, input here and to your electrical device over here. It supports 10 amps. It's not, not bad. Kind of like it works. I hope, well, sorry, I hope it works. I don't actually, never, well, I saw this first time on YouTube, someone actually uh, demonstrated these devices, how they work, and I'm like, I got very interested into uh, building something on my own. So here we are, a whole bunch of devices. I don't know, if you are not uh, familiar with these, maybe that will be interesting for you as well. And they are inexpensive, so these, for example, I think cost like five dollars. Uh, I think they were even on sale for four something, so it's not bad. And I have three of them, so I can wire up pretty much a lot so these guys have also th their own app you're gonna try to connect to it and try to do something uh, but for now let's go to uh, remaining set of devices uh, put this over here okay so probably the most one of the most interesting interesting device for me is this one which has temperature humidity monitor Wi-Fi switch so technically you're supposed to set your um, temperature and humidity and it will power on and off some sort of device based on that so let's open it up well there is nothing really probably gonna be pretty similar to um, to other device but it's a bit bigger and there is a reason for that because this guy is 16 amps so supposed supposedly much more um, powerful so therefore everything's supposed to be more beefy than this uh, there is some user manual and wiring diagrams for example here is how to wire your um, uh, oil ra radiator or oil heater so for example and this guy should be beefy enough to handle that uh, oh also the, obviously the most important is the external sensor and node that sensors are sold separately so they are connecting like this here we are now you are wired this can be screwed anywhere you need it and uh, that's that's as easy as, as it can be uh, I'm not sure how again like how easy to set it up but so far that's how it look like uh, um, yep okay that's probably gonna be some sort of explanation how to wire these things but for now i'm gonna put it back over here okay this is exactly the same device i have two of these so they're gonna go over here okay so this is another very interesting device for me is the one which can measure power uh power consumption again it's supposed to be beefy enough it's again 16 amp unit so it looks like um, pretty much look identical to the previous one it has even the same hole over here uh, and curious how to they how they look inside like curious to compare them um, but so far this one would be just uh, essentially have no controls it's gonna just report power consumption it would be kind of nice to have like combination of these together with this be hilarious if you would be able to put sense resistor over here upload some kind of new firmware and have multi purpose unit out of that one or vice versa like a wire uh, 3.5 millimeter jack to this one and uh, connect it to microcontroller and have pretty much the same uh, yeah, capability as the one with the temperature and humidity because essentially I believe they're gonna be identical inside and these guys pretty much will be based on the same schematic but just uh, use less beefy components to um, uh, com commutate the circuits so this is all we have at the moment uh, it will be enough for me to build some kind of home automation uh, around the house and see how it works so next I will be just try to power it up probably the easiest would be just to play with this guy because it's all self-contained unit and I don't have to wire anything like you know any kind of wires and things like that so that'll be um, the easiest unit to play with uh, 
and obviously if this one gonna work all other guys would work so I would like to see how easy it is to set it up and uh, actually how it works all right let's proceed to the next step now when we looked into whatever I got in the box uh, let's try to use it let's try to connect it to Wi-Fi network and see how it works so for this I need a phone obviously so in this case it's gonna be iPhone and we would have to uh, install this EWE link application. Right, so I installed and uh, um, uh, registered and logged into this EWE link, EWE link application. So now I'll try to add device. So this phone, uh, I don't really trust this application too much because I think it wants too much of a, uh, to a lot of different permissions. So I just decided to use the uh, cl clean phone and install it on a completely separate Wi Fi network on a completely separate router. Wi-Fi router. So uh, maybe a little bit paranoid, but anyways. So that's how it works. Enter your pairing, enter into press and hold pair button for pi power for cable. I'm gonna connect it. Oh, whoa! It's okay. Holding for I guess five seconds. I see no signs of life, by the way. Hope this is not busted mm. what the hell well hopefully not didn't send me some kind of uh, busted device or not you know in inoperational because you know I opened it in front of your eyes guys and obviously it didn't had chance even to break it or anything like that I think it does nothing. It just does let me connect something to it and see if it even passes. Uh, well, actually, I could just connect the light bulb and it clearly does something. Here's the light bulb. So it does work, but how do I put it in a pairing mode? Yeah, I just do next. Let's see, maybe. Okay, it wants my password. I do not know if it sees this device it's doing something, so it asks about my um, password for my special router as I mentioned before, and it says connecting, registering, pairing success. What? Seriously? Okay, I guess this device doesn't have to be in the pairing mode or something because there is no light blinking, and I have some sort of device connected over here. Device 11 DA6A complete. Added successfully. Whoa. Miracle. What the hell? Well, do you have to vibrate? Well, at least it works. So I, I don't know if I really had to actually press and hold this button because obviously I didn't read the manual. Manual, who reads the manual, right? So, and clearly it operates. It just vibrates, I guess I can change that. So now this device is successfully connected to my Wi-Fi network and I can control lights with it and it's pretty sick. And obviously you can see the status uh, by using the manual button over here. Very nice. Well, it worked. That was, that was actually pretty simple. Uh, aside the fact that you have to go on a website and register and la la la. And, but still, registration on the website, sorry, not on the website, re registration through the app was pretty painful, uh, painless. Um, uh, and uh, I thought this app usually, uh, people complain before that this uh, ask for a lot of permissions, but this time, unless on iPhone, it didn't really ask me anything and I would have to enter like um, any information manual, like for example, Wi-Fi password. It could have actually pulled it out of the phone, I think. Um, so uh, this is uh, the easiest device to try. I, I would like to try also this, this guy. Uh, but I do have to really uh, find the kind of uh, main leads and actually connect it over here. So I would do it probably uh, in the um, next piece of video. 
also would like to look inside but I do believe there is a many there are many 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 people already looked inside all these toys uh, and uh, already analyze everything to bits because this is um, very popular apparently very popular um, hacking platform you can really put new firmware you can do all sorts of stuff you can connect it to your you know local uh, how you call it local cloud or local IoT uh, hub or gateway and uh, you don't really need this is up and all sorts of uh, related stuff so it can be completely uh, local and there is also big benefits of being local that uh, I mean uh, not rely on uh, network so what if you have like uh, internet outage uh, and you like screwed like you cannot control anything anymore so it's very important to be independent I think so thank you guys for watching this was I hope short video explaining what is Sonoff and how it works and how can you access um, register and access this uh, simple device I may uh, look into more depth with other devices uh, what I have here and try to place them but I do believe that there are many people already looked into it and uh, there is a lot of comprehensive information all over the internet uh, all over the YouTube and internet too yeah thank you guys for watching see ya next time